All right, let's take a look at the new OneNote app in Windows 10. Microsoft did have a pretty good OneNote application in Windows 8 and 8.1, but the Windows 10 version is updated to be much more similar to the variants that are on iOS and Android. So as you'd expect, you have access to your different sections and notebooks within the application. You can create new sections, you can rename them, and also you can change the section color. And then you can pin an individual section to the start screen. So let me, or start menu rather. So this just gives you quick access to that specific section if you use that very frequently. Personally, I use OneNote to keep track of tasks that need to be completed. So that's a very handy feature for me. And then of course you can create new pages by clicking on the plus icon there. You can do that as many times as you need to. You can title the page and then you'll have automatic date and time stamps. Once you've created a page, you can go ahead and expand it. So if you don't wanna see all these extra menus, you can push this button here and that removes the sidebar menu so that you can edit the page with greater ease. One of the advantages of the new OneNote app over the previous version in Windows 8 is the new text editing bar up at the top here. So this makes it a little bit more like Microsoft Word Mobile. So you can use bold, italics, and underline very easily. You can change the size and color of the font from here very quickly. And then here you can create bullets or lists, change the justification, and then they make it very easy to create a new tag. So if I wanted to make this into a to-do list, that would be very easy to do right from there. You can tag different things as being important, questions, critical, an address or a phone number. And what that does is it makes it much easier to find that information should you need to, since you can search within OneNote. And then here you can easily insert a picture or another type of file. You can do that from here as well. And there's a drawing mode. If you have a device like the Surface 3 or Surface Pro 3 that has a stylus, you can obviously draw with ease, but this feature here also enables you to go ahead and draw with your, your mouse or your finger. On the View tab, it makes it pretty easy to zoom in or zoom out, and then you can also show different rule lines if you'd like to make that a little bit easier. So for those of you who might be using this on a device with a pen, this might make it a little bit easier to keep your lines straight if you want to use that. And then of course, after you're finished, you can remove the rule lines if you'd like to. So that's it for OneNote. Thanks for watching.